Hey everyone, today is going to be a quick tutorial where we are going to make a low poly aircraft carrier similar to this one. So to start, let's get a reference image that once downloaded we can split the viewport and select the image editor and select the image that we have downloaded. Once we have this, we can add a plane, add a loop cut in edit mode, and delete the one side. Then let's add a mirror modifier and select clipping for the modifier. With clipping enabled, we can use this reference image to roughly map out the ship. Once the bottom somewhat resembles the aircraft carrier, let's select the entire bottom and deselect the vertices that are in the center. Then extrude this upward and scale outward. Then judge how good it looks, and figure out whether to scale it more along the X or Y axis. Then extrude again, but this time just up. Now select the top edges, excluding the first and last edges, and extrude inward. Then fill both the front and back, and you're good. Now let's create the primary flight control area. All we need to do for this is add a loop cut near the back after you have applied the mirror modifier. Also, this would be a great time to make the aircraft carrier look more like an aircraft carrier by making it less symmetrical. Anyways, now we can select the cube on the right side of the boat and inset it a little bit, and then extrude it upwards. Then after extruding upward, scale outward, and then repeat these steps three times, and add two loop cuts. And select the inner portion and hit option E to extrude inward by the normals. Now select the entire control section, and scale it to make it look right. If you want, you can select the top and then extrude it upward to add a pole. If you're 3D printing it, I'd recommend not doing this as it will likely break. Anyways, now let's create a mini runway, which you can see is slanted. So add a cube, and then in edit mode, scale along either the Y or X axis, and make sure it will cover the majority of the boat. Now duplicate it, move it next to the other one, then select both of them, and rotate it so that it is similar to the reference. Now duplicate and create another one, and put it in the middle, and add a bunch of loop cuts, and then select every other section with face select, and delete those faces. Fill in the holes, and then go out of edit mode and select the aircraft carrier, and add a boolean modifier. With the boolean modifier, select the cube or runway that we just created, make sure it's the right Z height, and then hide it. Now if you want to add a little extra detail, you can create a very basic and blocky plane by extruding it a couple times, and once you have it, then we could duplicate it a couple of times and rotate them so they don't look all symmetrical. And place them where you want on the boat. Then select all of them and add them to a collection. And then if you want, you don't have to do this, I just do it because I find it easier for when 3D printing is to add a boolean and then select that collection and select union. And boom, this will create the low poly aircraft carrier. If you want, you can add a decimate modifier and make the ratio lower to make it even more low poly. Well, hopefully this was helpful. For those of you curious, I actually made this aircraft carrier for a flick game that I'll likely reveal later. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, and yeah, I was actually at a track meet while making this. So yeah, that's where I am.